I gotta step out. Okay. All right. Let's take a quiz. No, it's not even that, but that ass is not even funny. Because uh, y'all don't know. Like, for real, it's not even funny. All right, we'll take, yeah. a, take a breather and then come back and answer the yeah, question. Yeah. Uh, can I finish what I was going to say? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. What are you saying? I think it's more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it I'm actually a mother, a single mother, actually, mm -hmm. and I am a millionaire. Surprises, so and I have been proposed to twice, three times. How'd I go? So I reject it because I, I, I'm picky, and I have high high standards because that's just me. Yeah, you know. And I'm I'm, a, I'm an actual mother, and if my my son has to choose in between a a 20 year old that's broke. And a 30, uh, how old? 30 year old. A 30 year old that has, how old is the son? 35. Well, uh, the hold, same on, hold, age? On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, that's, that's not the question. the question. Yeah, what was the question? I was, I was asking her just to go into a scenario to, you know, see if she can elaborate a little bit more on her answer. But the original question was, would you prefer to be a single mother, millionaire, or be young, 18, virgin, single. with a man of your dreams? Um, single mother with millions because I already am. Okay. All right. Can you tell us why that over uh, the other situation? Because I've been in the other situation <clears throat> and me personally, the reason why I don't like the other situation is because when he leaves or some inconvenience happens, I get left with nothing. And, and then I dev devoted my whole life to him. And I, if I stay, I would technically have wasted my life when I could have had my own path and my own career. Because I believe that when you marry to a man as a woman, you devote your life to him mm -hmm. and you dedicate your your time and energy only to him. OK, uh, let me ask you a question. Were you married to your guy uh, before? Yeah. Yeah. You were married to him. Yeah. My who the broke, father who, who broke it up then. The father of my child. Um. I, I had to leave. So you left him? Yeah. So in your past example, you said that, what if they leave you? But the reality is you left him. And I only say that not to not to pick on you, but you're not special. Most girls initiate breakups and most girls initiate Masagini. divorce. So since most women initiate divorce and breakups, if you marry the guy, you kind of won already because most guys are not going to initiate divorce because they lose half their money. They might have to pay alimony and child support. So it's not in a man's best interest to leave a woman that they're with. Um, well, I haven't. Everybody's different. And I prefer to be very cautious with who I choose to be with, because um, when I was with somebody that was providing for me when I didn't have anything, it was very difficult for me. Um, the cons is that obviously I had explained it in the last podcast is the reality is when you're with a high value man, you have to share him. That's the reality. Okay. Do you guys want to share? Because you guys had mentioned that you guys want to rather Wait, what do you, be. What do you mean by share done? him? Like a high value man when you're with a millionaire yeah. and you're you're broke and stuff. and, and you Like sharing with other he's, women? He's maintaining you. He's maintaining you. Most men yeah, women. have multiple women no. at that. Yes. <laughs> Myron, I, tell him. Out of respect. Tell, tell him. Yeah, Myron, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, but I feel like that might be like your Myron. average answer. But I feel like I wouldn't do that because I respect myself enough. Like, why? Yeah, but um, when you're with a man it, that's a millionaire fair, and he's maintaining fair. you and you have no other choice. But then that's like not even love or fair, Well, then you're, you're double thinking it. So you rather be a single mother with millions. Ooh, that's, that's Shout out to Fresh and Fit. Shout out to the Godfather. You can't make this shit up. She's thinking that the man is just going to cheat because he's a millionaire and she is broke. No, it's not because... You are broke. It has nothing to do with the fact that you are broke or something. It's because he's a millionaire and he has a lot of options. It has nothing to do with whether or not the lady has money or not. It is just about high value men. They always have options and they always like exercising those options. And that's just what it is. The way she's talking, she, it seems to me that she thinks if she happened to get a man because she says she's a millionaire, She's not going to have to share this man if the man is high value. No, you might still share him regardless of whether you are a millennial or whatever. 
He don't give a fuck about your money. He can replace you easily. You can replace him easily. That's the difference. Especially you being a baby mom. It's just what it is. It's a hardcore truth. But unfortunately, women don't want to hear these things. And it's kind of weird to me. Let's keep going. To be fair. To be fair, like what she's... If you, do you like desire to be with a, a man who makes a lot of money to financially support me? Yes. I'm saying how what that number like high is. Value, like millionaire. Do you think? Do you desire to be with a man like what like that? Yes or no? Not necessarily. Okay, but well, you said you did. I just apply to you. But... I'm just the only okay, part that I was just about disagreeing that. about was sharing the man with someone. Yeah, but you, you said that you prefer a, how about, how about, mm-hmm. you, you to. prefer to be a broke young girl with a high value man than a single mother with the money already. So, now, if you prefer to be mm-hmm. a young broke woman with a high value man, that comes with you having to share him. Coming from somebody that has mm-hmm. has been through it, I've been with a millionaire before, mm-hmm. and I've had to live these situations. So you initiated the divorce with this guy, right? You broke up with him. Honestly, it was it was mutual. Okay. And and Stop we had problems like that. Someone uh, has to initiate the divorce yeah. though. He Stop he left he left his home. That's the truth for another woman. That's the truth. So he initiated the divorce on you? He left me and I broke up with him. We finished. Bruh. Who who filed the divorce paperwork? Or were y'all even ever oh, married? Me. You've divorced. Okay. Yes. So you Stop divorced the cap. him. Yes. So Stop the cap. my question is, since you divorced him, right? And you said one of the, your issues was that you didn't want to share him. Before I I didn't want to and okay. like because I, I I was I was very young I was okay. eighteen okay and have I was changed your mind on it now yeah okay. I have God. and so I, now you'll accept it I, I because I've learned how men are okay so you'll know? accept it now yeah I would so wouldn't it be since you'll accept it now wouldn't it make sense to maybe get back with the baby's father no because he's broke now and I'm up. Shout out to Fresh and Fish one more time. I think this guy has done amazing job when it comes to exposing the nature of females. In one of the videos, this lady was saying something like she would prefer her son to go out with a lady that is 35 years old with a son that is a millionaire over a lady that is 20 years old that is childless and beautiful. So... Why should a man give a damn if you are not giving a damn about your husband because he's broke and you are a millionaire? This is how female brains operate. Whatever they have is for them. And whatever the man has belongs to both of them. So why give a damn about something that is just not going to benefit you? Let's keep going. I'm just saying. Bruh. You all broke up? Nah, he broke shit, um, Okay, wait. Just yeah. to clarify. You've never been on this show I'm before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so he had the money when he was with you, and then he lost it. He lost it. Did you take his money? No, the DEA took his money. The feds took his money. <laughs> he was left with nothing. So you're with a drug trafficker? <laughs> no, with a scammer. Oh, if it was even the, better. If it was the DEA, then it was the Drug Enforcement Administration, which means he was selling drugs. They took, uh, no, Seek, uh, the, the feds, uh, Secret Service, it would be. Because it's scamming. Okay. Fraud. Okay. They yeah. took everything and Okay. Can he was left something? with nothing. Okay. And and you wanna know something? Yeah. I was so he had left me for another woman and since he's the father of my child and I thought he was gonna do more than twenty years, mm-hmm. I, I gave I lent him all of my 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 money mm-hmm. to bond him out. And we weren't even together. Okay. Uh, so uh, <laughs> all right. that's some real shit, but that was wrong of me. Ladies okay. don't ever do that. All right. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Thanks for, for your lesson on life. Okay. What about you? I don't get it. What happened? Don't worry. Chris is, Chris is being yeah, yeah. charged. Okay. okay. Right. So, what would you choose? Yeah. 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 Like, give us Single money. mother, <laughs> millionaire, or broke virgin, but you're a successful guy that loves you, takes care of you. I mean... I read the question and it says dream guy. Yes. So if it's hey, my dream guy, <laughs> yeah. um, he gonna put me on. So if he's a high value man, he's gonna invest in me as mm. an entrepreneur to do what I gotta do too, if it's my dream guy. 
Okay, so you're gonna. So pick, I so would pick the broke do? version. Broke, broke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because you I think totally... you can become a millionaire through him. All right. What about you? If it's my dream guy. All right. That yeah, was the I question. totally agree with what she said. Literally. Yeah. So same thing. Yeah, same thing. All right, you a queen for, sure. for real. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, what about you? Single mom with the money, or on your own, or uh, single virgin with a guy that has the money. <laughs> uh, the money. The money. Show okay. me the money. All right. Okay. What about you? Uh, hundred percent high value man because really the high value man is what really women find as the dream guy. Okay. So, so it's, it's literally dream guy for us equals high value. Okay. So um, I have a question. Uh, wait, wait. Let's let's do questions after. Yeah. Because uh, uh, you got yeah. something you want to add to what you're saying? I meant the dream guy with the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 not the single yeah. mother. No, 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 no. That's what we okay. took. No. So you guys would depend on a man to get rich? Y'all yes, can't do girl. that by yourself? No. Bro. Uh, yeah, Why absolutely. do it when I can depend on a man? What this lady just said would trigger a lot of feminists. Why do that if she could depend on a man? This is how the world used to work. Women depending on their men. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. But right now, sounding this way, most feminists will be triggered. But that's a feminine woman that is willing to be on the man's program. And being on the man's program is not a bad thing. It's really a very good thing. That is how the family unit is always built. And that's how it has always been since the beginning of time. But now morning convention has made it look like or had made women to think that, okay, they're just good to do everything by themselves. It's cool. You can do it. But if someone wants to be with a man, that is wanting to depend on a man. I think that's also a fair choice. Let's keep going. What if the what if the high value man wants you to stay at home and be a stay at home that's mom? Fine, that's fine, girl. Wash well. them dishes from that. every corner with a toothbrush. What, 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 to read yeah, the what if he cheats on you? Yeah, y'all like that? Question. Y'all would share. Oh, that's your choice. I already did. Share. And he's gonna cheat anyway. So what you want me to do? Exactly. All right. Raise your hands at the table if you would be okay with sharing this dream, man. Raise your hands. One, two, three. Didn't you say you would share them earlier? Yeah, I was like, didn't yeah, you just... like if no. you now, know now what you're getting yeah, yourself yeah. into when you're Bruh. messing with money. Yeah, that so high. you would, so you would share him too. Okay, you. So the rest of you guys expect fidelity from this guy. Uh, really, at some point, but some men point. and women are not equal. They don't look the same. I mean, I would arrange it. In my previous relationship, uh -huh. I ar I arranged it. So Stop the cap. So you okay? So you got him the girls. Well, no, he picked them out, and I just scheduled it. But okay. <laughs> All right. Wait. You, w, know what, you know why I didn't w raise Mans. my hand? Okay. You uh -huh. know why I didn't raise my hand? No, we don't care. Uh, <laughs> next one. Uh, wait, you did raise your hand. Your I know, but 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 bring you told friend. me, oh, would you share a man? But now I'm I'm thinking why I didn't raise my hand is because as a single millionaire mother, like I feel like I <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it, bro. Bro, nobody cares, nigga. Uh, uh, well, I'm hold, hold on, because I'm this is interesting. So you're a single mom millionaire. Do you think you have the leverage to tell a guy that also has money that he has to be monogamous to you when you have a child can you repeat that okay you are a millionaire mm -hmm. let's say you meet a guy that's also a millionaire or multi-millionaire okay probably knowing you he has to be a multi-millionaire he's attractive etc other women want mm -hmm. him uh, do you think you can tell him he must be monogamous to you when you also have money and you have a kid which actually hurts you as a woman i gotta step out Okay. All right. Let's take a No, it's not even that, but that ass is not even funny. Because uh, y'all don't know. Like, for real, it's not even funny. All right, we'll take, yeah. a, take a breather and then come back and answer the yeah, question. Yeah. Uh, can I finish what I was saying? Uh, yeah, go ahead. What are you saying? I think it's more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. Right. But Mom. also, the Mom. high value man is going to be a the father of the house for my whatever if I have a daughter or a son. Right. Why are you laughing? Like what? you mad and mature. Hey, 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 hey. Chill, chill, chill. Is the chill, mic chill. on? Hey. Is she talking to me? Because I don't... When did oh, I laugh? She was, she was talking to me. No, she was talking to me. Oh, she was talking okay. to me. Oh, okay. I had to look around. <laughs> All right. Sorry, you were saying? And guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I think women knows deep down that Men are repulsed by these things. This is just a question. And she started crying because of the way the question was asked. It has made her to think deeply. And she realized that she has fucked up. 
and that's just what I'm thinking. I think she realized that she has fucked up, and you know, there's no way she can compensate it. As usual, thanks for checking in, and for all inquiries and all questions, you can send me on fidelisroy2019 at gmail.com and keep liking and subscribing to the channel. Just like that, I'm out in peace.